There's a long-standing conspiracy theory that there are cures for all diseases and all viruses and things of that nature. And that the people who have these cures, either um, government bodies or people within the government or secret societies or whoever they may be, they withhold these cures from the general public and keep them only for themselves, for elite individuals. And recently in the news, there's been somewhat of evidence, more evidence to support that conspiracy theory. Now, first of all, before I say anything, I want to let you know that I'm not really big on any conspiracy theory. I look at things as far as facts or is there facts to support something or how rational or how logical it is, how plausible something is. And so I'm not saying that the evidence that I'm going to provide is proof that this conspiracy theory is true. It's just something to consider that perhaps this will lead us more towards the truth, whatever the truth may be. Anyhow, the thing in the news is that came up recently is about Ebola. The Ebola a virus or Ebola disease. I don't know uh, if it's a disease or a virus or what it is. Anyhow, upwards of a thousand people have died recently because of the Ebola virus. And, you know, it's a horrible thing. You know, it causes panic and state of emergency and so on and so forth. You know, in African countries or thereabouts. But in general, it's like, well, there's nothing we could do. There's no cure. There's no cure for that disease, for that virus, whatever it is. But then, all of a sudden, two American individuals get that virus. They get Ebola. And those Americans are whisked off back to the United States. They're given some experimental serum. And miraculously, they start to recover. It's like, I mean, it, it, it was so much, it was like so blatant and so obvious. It was like, wait a minute. Hundreds of people are dying by this. Over the course of 10 years or 20 years, probably thousands of people have died from this. And then all of a sudden, two Americans get it, uh, two American doctors uh, get it, and now you have this experimental cure. Don't you think that perhaps all those people that died in uh, Africa, they would at least took a chance? I mean, when you get Ebola, I think there's like somewhere between like 60 and 90 percent chance that you're going to die. So give me the experimental drug. If there's an experimental drug, give it to me. I'm going to die anyways. So it's just, it's just, it was just so weird when I heard that. It was like, wait a minute. So now there's a cure when two American doctors get it. Now there's a cure for the virus or the disease, whatever it may be. So again, it's not proof that that conspiracy theory is true. That there is cures for all types of diseases and um, viruses and things of that nature. But it is peculiar.